Good afternoon everybody, Colin here with AppReviews.com and today I'm going to be reviewing an app called TeamViewer. Um, I'm sure a lot of people, especially um, you know, people who know a lot about technology and you know, use their computer often um, or for business purposes may have heard of TeamViewer before, it's nothing new. Um, but I just wanted to go ahead and do a review on it because I just started using it. Um, the place where I intern, um, they use it and so I've seen it there before but I've never actually used it myself. And one day my friend needed help installing something on his computer, so he said, well, why don't we use TeamViewer? And so I went ahead and downloaded it for free um, off their website. It is a free application for personal use. Um, if you want to use it commercially for your business, you do have to pay for it. Um, but it offers a few different features, um, such as meeting. You can host a meeting. Um, you can join a meeting just by putting in your name and the meeting ID, which if you have one started it'll give you um, and if you want to allow somebody to remote control your computer you just give them this information here your user ID and your password and it will automatically connect you to their computer and you can control it and the only reason I'm showing you this information right here is one because team beer has to be open for you to do it and two because as soon as I close team viewer next time I open it the password will be different um, so there's no way anybody by seeing this information will be able to do it. Um, so it doesn't matter. The user ID will stay the same, but the password changes every time you restart the application. So every time you want to, if you close it and then reopen it again, that same person can't use that password again. You have to give them a new one. You can have a personal password that stays the same. Um, for connecting to the computer at any time, which you, you, you only know that you're the only person that knows that password and your user ID, and um, so you can connect to it with the same password every time. Also, you can do a file transfer by connecting. These are two of my friends that are using it, um, and they give you the same password, and you can open it up, and you can see what's on your computer and what's on their computer, their desktop, all their folders on their hard drive and stuff. Um, you can delete stuff, you can add stuff, you can transfer stuff. Um, so if you they need something that's on your computer, you can transfer it right then and there. Um, just by doing that. And you can sign in right here, but I you don't have to sign in. All you have to do is open this app. And as you can see, it's ready to connect. So if I wanted to, I would just hit connect to partner. They don't Nobody has TeamViewer running on their computer right now. Um, so it's just going to come up with that error. But that's Team Viewer. That's what it does. It's a free app, like I said, for personal use, and you do have to pay for it to use it commercially. But it is great for helping other people out on their computer. I would recommend trying it out if you do um, need to help somebody or you want to share their screen. And you can also do video and um, voice chat while you're screen sharing at the same time. Um, so a very helpful application. It runs on both Mac and Windows, and it is cross compatible I guess that's the word you would use if you're on a Mac you can control somebody's Windows computer if they have it installed on Windows or Windows to Mac um, vice versa so that is TeamViewer I recommend checking it out you can just google TeamViewer or I think their website's TeamViewer.com but thanks for watching it's been Colin with AppReviews.com don't forget to comment rate and subscribe